champion, Fred Dibble, has won cash and prizes totaling $12,329. This week, players will win dining room furniture, beautiful artwork, and a trip to New England and continue a journey towards a fortune in cash and prizes, including a Ford station wagon and $50,000 in cash. In total, over $100,000 on sale of the century. And now, here's the star of the show, Jim Perry. Thank you. Thank you very much. Happy to have you with us. Good to have you here. Hello there. Welcome to Sale of the Century. We're in a nice Thanksgiving mood all this week. If you've been with us, we've got a very bright champion. Let's welcome him back. This is Fred Dibble. Hello there, Fred. Hi, Jim. $12,329, and that is a one-day total. Including That's nice. Beautiful trip to Colorado, and you hit the winner's big money game for what, one second left. Congratulations. We didn't talk about what you do for a living. Well, I'm a freelance graphic designer most of the time, but I also work on a cruise ship as a sport, sports director. Well, that sounds like very interesting work. You go off to many different places? Mostly the Caribbean. Sounds good. Glad you could spend some time here with us. Win today. Of course, you can keep on winning with that winner's big money game. You'll play it for 6000 today. So, good Great. luck. Thank you. Here to introduce the challenger, Summer Bartholomew. Hello there, Hello. Summer. Hi. Are you getting in the Thanksgiving mood now? Yes, sir. I'm ready. Yes, sir. I'm ready. One of my Thank favorite you. holidays. Mine, too. He know, she knows how to send in the clowns from Covina, California. Welcome, Pamela Scahill. Hello there, Pamela. And he's a man's best friend from Mesa, Arizona. Here's Emil Yurimovich. Hello there, Emil. And we'll see you later with some bargains. Okay. Thank you, Summer. Emil, the visitor from Mesa, Arizona. Yes, sir. I'm delighted to have you here. A, a man's best friend. That's right, Jim. My friends found out I took some medicine intended for a dog. They began asking me if I was chasing cars, had bitten my mailman, or was that me they heard barking at the moon? And when we went to dinner, they all got steaks, and all I got was a bone. Oh, they, they really rubbed it in when you took the wrong medicine. Yes, sir. Huh? Nice to have you here. Pamela, you know how to send in the clowns. That's right, Jim. As a matter of fact, I come from a long line of clowns. I was a clown at my first job. My grandfather's face has been registered, and my brother was voted class clown. Oh, so it's right, right in the family. Sure. Well, that's nice, making people laugh. That sounds like a good thing to do. Delighted to have you all here. Thank you. And uh, we'll have $20 starting you all off, but I want to tell you it had to be a tie-in. Today, the prize, we've had lovely dining room furniture for Thanksgiving dinner. Uh, we've had beautiful artwork about Thanksgiving. Today, we've got a trip, where else? New England. Should be a lovely trip worth over $3,500. So, $20 starts you all off, and here we go. Thanksgiving is the perfect time to rent a Disney classic for the family, like the wonderful dog tale called 101 in the... Dalmatians. Dalmatians is right. $5 on the plus side to 25 a homecoming football game. What word would complete the cheer? Hip, hip. Fred. Hooray. Just beating Pamela to the buzzer. The champ gets his first five. After shopping for Thanksgiving dinner, you might tell your husband that everything was so expensive it cost an arm and... Fred. A leg. Yes, indeed. The champion goes into the lead by five. In the early 1900s, couples would get together to do something called the turkey trot. Fred. It's a dance. It is indeed a dance, and Fred's a 35. Whether it's lumpy or not, Thanksgiving dinner, Emil. Gravy. Wouldn't be complete without the sauce sometimes made from giblets. Yeah, gravy it is. Well done. <laughs> Emil the 30. But it's time for this and bargain. It is, of course, the player in the lead who can buy bargain merchandise. And Fred, that's you. $5 lead over a meal. Well, talking about Thanksgiving, how about this? Fred, make your holiday table a bit more festive with fresh flowers. Give a gift to someone special or decorate your home or office with a beautiful bouquet of fresh flowers. A fine selection of flowers of the season delivered to you, furnished by Flowers by Sir Gregory. And it's normally priced at $500. But today on sale of the century, it's just for only $5. Well, that's very nice. How does you get, certainly get you in the holiday mood there? I you think my mom would like to keep the house cheerful with a lot of flowers I, all year long. Lovely. Well, if you yeah. think of mom like that, then I've got to think of you. That's five hundred dollars worth all year long. Yes. And it cost you five. You'd be in a tie with a meal. I'll give you two hundred dollars in cash to go with it, making it a seven hundred dollar bargain for the value of one question. Going once. I think it's a good bargain. Mom will enjoy the flowers. Yes. You enjoy the cash. Thank you. Seven hundred dollar bargain for just five dollars. I'm gonna knock that off. You and a meal now into a tie. In the comedy film Cold Turkey. Dick Van Dyke urged the townspeople and the uh, Pamela. Smoking. Yeah, that's right. To break what habit? Smoking it is. Well done. Pamela goes to 25. Although she certainly had Thanksgiving dinner at home, 
Truman Capote's character, Holly Golightly, liked her breakfast. Great. At Tiffany's. Yes. See how we tied all that into the holidays? You're back to 35. <laughs> In what U.S. state might you visit the Turkey River before heading over to Des Moines? Fred. Iowa? That's where the Turkey River is in Iowa, and Fred goes to 40. <laughs> fame game now, playing for control of the fame game board, and we're looking for a famous fictional character. Fictional character, get it? You get control of the board. I am a fictional character who first appeared in comics in 1939. I was inspired by a Leonardo da Vinci drawing of a man wearing outstretched wings, and by the movie The Mark of Zorro, in which Douglas Fairbanks played a masked and caped crusader. In a campy TV series of the 60s, I was played by Adam West. Fred? Batman. Played by Adam West. Yes, indeed. Batman. Placed on Leonardo da Vinci. You've got control. Ten dollar money card wears on It's behind the number five. Right up the middle as we lock into your buzzer. You can add to your lead. Fred, good luck. Ten dollar money card now. No. Lands on number one on the champion gets. It's bedroom furniture. Oh, yeah. Ashley Supra Bedroom Group. Common finish, solid oak moldings, high pressure laminate tops. Solid wood center glide construction and brass hardware. Beauty and grace furnished by Ashley. Well, you didn't hit a money card, but if you're not going to hit one, you didn't do too bad. That is $2,000 worth of bedroom furniture, Fred. Congratulations. Thank you. We will be back right after this commercial time. <laughs> change your passwords often, so we are too. Yahoo! Yahoo! <laughs> Password Plus, now followed by Super Password. Welcome to whatever this is. Because it's always good to change your passwords once in a while. You understand what I'm saying. Password Plus and Super Password. Tonight, starting at 1 on Buzzer. Let's play. John, it might be a good time to mention that we're going to take a couple of days off for the holidays after today, and I do hope you're going to enjoy your holidays. And as soon as the holidays are over, come down and join us as a contestant. We would love to have you down here. We'll all have a good time, right? Yes. Oh, yeah. All righty. Right now, Fred at 40, Emil at 30, Pamela at 25. Let's get back with this. Traditionally, on both Halloween and Thanksgiving, you would serve what type of pie? Pamela. Pumpkin. Pumpkin pie, got to be. And Pamela ties Emil for second at 30. According to the traditional Thanksgiving song, we'll go over the river and through the woods, Pamela. To grandmother's house. That's where we're going. Pamela with two in a row pulls it within a question of Fred. If Ben Franklin had his way, the turkey would be our national bird. Fred. Instead of the eagle. Uh, you started it before the bell. Yes, the judge said you got it, and you got a 45. Yes, oh. indeed. Yeah, the eagle's what it is. Yes, the, the turkey would have been the national bird instead of this more majestic one. The eagle, yes. Ben Franklin wanted the turkey. Champion just beat the buzzer on that one. Set to be the grand marshal at this year's Hollywood Santa Claus Lane Parade is this handsome star of TV's Who's the Boss? 
And Neil. Tony Danza. Tony Danza, yeah, week after Thanksgiving. And you go to 35. Over oh, that is to bargain, Fred. You've got the lead, a $10 oh, yes. lead. And all, oh, Fred, look at this <laughs> great prize. Fred, capture those very special memories with a full-size VHS camcorder with variable speed, 8 to 1 power zoom lens, high-speed shutter, and flying erase heads, furnished by Sharp, and it's normally priced at $1,799. But today on sale, it's been treated for only $11. <laughs> Well, Fred, $1,799 bargain. Do you like that, Fred? I love that. That is yes. great, yes. Well, I would love to see a three-way tie. So I'll knock a dollar off the price. You can have that $1,799 prize for, that would give us a three-way tie, if you could bought it for 10 bucks. Going you once, got a sale. Prize. <laughs> Wonderful prize, and a sale surprise as well, Fred. Way to go. Fred has a way of, well, he's picking up everything. Well done, Fred. So you've got a $1,799 beautiful bargain for 10 oh, yes. and a surprise to enjoy the holidays with an additional one, one two, two, three, three four, four, five, six, six seven, seven hundred <laughs> more dollars in cash. About $2,500 worth for 10. Well done, Fred. Congratulations. We'll knock that 10 off, and we do indeed have a three way tie. In 1665, newspapers may have had a headline which read, British scientist discovers gravity when apple falls. Emil. Newton. That's right, on his head. So I added his Newton, you go in the belief. After doing the Thanksgiving dishes for 147 guests, the pilgrim women might have suffered from a housekeeping complaint called Fred. Dishpan hands. Nicely done, you're <laughs> right. And you've died, Emil, for the lead. It is interesting to note, only six pilgrim women prepared the entire first Thanksgiving feast for 91 Indians and 56 settlers. Just six women. So, we've got a tie now with the gentleman, a Pamela question behind. Speaking of the holidays, on the holiday called All Quah Quahog's Day, the clam is honored by this New England state's residence from Pawtucket to Providence. Pamela! Maine. No. Oh, Pawtucket to Providence? That's Rhode Island. Ooh. They honor the clam in Rhode Island. Cost <laughs> you five. Matter of fact, they do it on April the 5th, to be exact, Pamela. A playful pilgrim named Priscilla was wooed by Miles Standish, but wed John... Fred? No, no. See, somebody shouted out. You were wrong. Not Smith. <laughs> John Alden. Yes. John Alden. So you lose five, and the player in the audience will take five dollars out of your <laughs> pocket out there in the audience. In high, in high school, incidentally, many history reports are written which contain a student blooper. Here's an excerpt from one written about Thanksgiving. Absolutely true. Student wrote, quote, the winter of 1620 was a hard one for the pilgrims. Many people died. Many babies were born. Captain John Smith was responsible for all this. <laughs> we'll be right back.
for a good push match. Emil now at 40, champion Fred at 35, Pamela at 30. Back to the fame game, another money card goes up there. Remember, at the end of this segment, someone gets a shot at $7,000 when the instant cash comes up, so being in the lead, very important. We look for famous people, plural, people. We are a select group of men and women who had our beginnings in 1959, when seven of us were chosen for the first contingent. Fred. The astronauts. That is exactly right for control of the board. Surprise himself there for a moment. Fifteen dollar yeah. money card wears up. It's behind the number nine. As the lights flash, we lock in. You trail by five. Either one gives you the lead. Fred, good luck. Okay, big money card number fifteen stuck. No, lands on number two, and he gets five hundred dollars. He does have a way of finding cash. Well done, Fred. <laughs> Another $500 right into your pocket, and you are trailing by just five, playing, of course, for the board there. The three of you try this. What politician is inviting you for Thanksgiving dinner? If the address on the invitation reads 10 down... Emil? The Prime Minister of England. That's right, 10 Downing Street, I was going to say. Prime Minister, Margaret Thatcher, either one acceptable? You're right, you go to 45. At your holiday gathering, you might wear jewelry made from this bluish-green stone, because... Emil? Turquoise. Nicely done, and Emil making a move to 50. Children descendant Sydney Biddle Barrows wrote about her exclusive call girl operation. Emil? In the Mayflower, madam. See how we tie everything <laughs> into Thanksgiving, friends? Yes, you're right, Emil. You go to 50. <laughs> 55, I beg your pardon. Time for the instant cash, Emil, and you've got the lead. Two boxes have $100 bills. One today is worth as pro. He's not even waiting. <laughs> no suspense. To no suspense. He knows it's $7,000. Do you know how much you're risking? It's an you're risking your lead. Do you know how much it is? I don't really care. He I doesn't feel, care. I feel lucky, Jim. Well, we'll take it all off that. No, no. Just it's, the lead. It's Just the lead. $20. It's $20. Oh, so it's, it's a big right. risk. We'll knock that off, putting you in a tie with Fred. All right. You were so confident. Good luck. Do you Box have Box number it? two for my two boys. All right. He, he, maybe. He's pretty lucky today. He feels very confident. Good luck, Emil. Good luck, Emil. $100. Mm, I thought he had it. All right. Number one. Number one had the $7,000. It goes to $8,000. Maybe someone will jump quick on the next show. Right now, very close match. We'll be right back. You were going, right? I'm going. <laughs> next, more sale of the century with more deals than you can shake a Jim Perry at. Then on Pressure Luck, whammies are shaking it up, but these players press on. Stay tuned. Fred Devil has already picked up a lot. He right now is at 35, but both challenges doing very well. Emil also at 35. Pamela question behind at 30. Before you begin eating your holiday meal, your father might bow his head. Pamela. Say grace. That's exactly right, and we've got a three-way tie. Pamela's fan club has heard from over there. If your Thanksgiving tablecloth is made of Venetian lace, from what country? Fred. Italy. That's where it came from, and the champion back into the lead by far. For most Americans, Thanksgiving Day 1963 was a somber occasion. Pamela? The death of JFK. Because it fell one week after the death of, you are right, John F. Kennedy, and you go to 40. Well, $5 separate the players. All three money cards up there. A big fame game and a famous place. I am a state that leads the nation in the production of toothpicks. I was first settled by English colonists in 1607, 13 years before the Pilgrims landed at Plymouth Rock. 
For the better part of 200 years, I was part of Massachusetts. Fred. New Hampshire. Incorrect. Break for the challenges of the champions. Out of the question, you will clear it. Continue for Emil and Pamela. I was part of Massachusetts, and in 1820, I became our 23rd state. New Englanders often refer to me as Down East, probably because I form the northeastern corner of the United States. My largest... Emil. Maine. Maine is right for control of the board, yes. $25 money card where? Thought you might jump in there with the down east, but you got in there in time for control, Emil. Good luck. $25 money card now. No, that's on number six, and he gets $400. Now, a little chance for Emil there. Flew in from Nate, Arizona. That'll help. And now, with all three players back in and very close, beautiful trip to uh, the New England states on the line, we finish up this match with a speed round. May I have 60 seconds on the clock? And looking at the score, Fred and Pamela both at 40, Emil a question behind at 35. Good luck as we start the speed round. Now, on what TV sitcom might you see Elise Keaton serving Thanksgiving? Fred? Family ties. Right. In what sport do you get a turkey if you get three strikes? Emil. Bowling. Right. Especially on Thanksgiving, you should remember that a bird in the hand is worth a meal. Two in the bush. Right. What traditional Thanksgiving food is the specialty of a company called Ocean Spray? Fred. Cranberries. Right. To share a Thanksgiving meal with the Eskimos, you'd have to go to which state? Emil. Alaska. Right. In the Macy's Thanksgiving Parade, what antlered cartoon moose appears? Emil. Bullwinkle. Right. On the Mayflower, what was a pilgrim doing if he was swabbing the deck? Emil. Washing the deck. Right. Which U.S. president celebrated Thanksgiving at his family home called Mount Vernon? Fred. Washington. Right. What flavor enhancer should you leave off your turkey if you suffer from hypertension? Fred. Butter. Wrong. By what rhyming name do we know the type of tent that Indians lived in when the pilgrims... Emil. T.P. Right. What European country are you in if you're spending Thanksgiving vacation in Vienna? Fred. Italy. Wrong. Yeah. The Wall Street financial firm that's famous for being bullish on America is Merrill... Pamela. Lynch. Right. Time is up. Emil is the new champion. Congratulations. <laughs> Peter, from five behind. Only win it by 20. Back to Emil in a moment. And the two that the champion missed, and uh, that really would have been the difference, uh, was the difference for him. The European country of Vienna is in Austria. And if you suffer from hypertension, the flavor enhancer you should leave off is salt. I to say goodbye to the champion, but Fred, what a great two-day stay you have had. Beautiful artwork, trip to Colorado, uh, the camcorder I know you wanted, a lot of other lovely prizes, $6,645 in cash, and you were just a couple of dollars short of $18,100 for two days. Congratulations. That's great. Good champion. Thank you. Pamela didn't pick up anything along the way. Got some nice party gifts in the cash in front of you. Hope you had a good time. Oh, I had a great time. Thank, Thank you for you. joining us. And happy holiday to you and, of course, to all of our players. But the day belongs to Emil. He came all the way in to join us from Arizona. And, Emil, we congratulate you. And as you try to go back to Arizona, maybe you'll take a side trip to New England. Don, if you will. Emil, you'll have a lot to be thankful for on this fabulous trip to where it all started, Massachusetts. We'll fly you and a friend from Los Angeles to Boston, Massachusetts, for the start of a seven-day tour of historic New England. Discover American heritage, explore old seaports, and visit the actual Plymouth Rock, where the Pilgrims first landed in America. This prize is worth $3,500. That'll be a great trip. You want to join us. Now, Emil's going to take a much shorter trip as he joins me for the first time. We'll play the winner's big money game. Come on, Emil. Well, very nicely done, sir. Congratulations. Thank you. A man who makes me look like an awesome oh, outfit. <laughs> now then, Emil, you're playing the winner's big money game for the first time, so you're playing for $5,000. Thank you. Three envelopes, red, yellow, or blue, which one do you want to play? Blue, please. Blue. All right. Solve four puzzles in 20 seconds. The $5,000 is yours. Clock starts when the first word of each puzzle is revealed. It stops when you hit that plunger to give me an answer. And, of course, you've got to give me an answer right away. Good luck. We're all with you now. There's where the words come in. May I have 20 seconds on the clock? And we'll start the first puzzle now. Musical about Von... Yes? Ooh, one trap for family singers. Sound, Sound of music. music. Sound of music. I, it looks like you just I, couldn't quite get it out there. But you jumped in quick, so it so didn't have, cost you a lot of time. But you cannot make another mistake, even if there's time left on the clock. So good luck now as we take a look at the next puzzle. Now, fun event features clowns. That's yes. Circus. Circus. That's right. Animals, like about. There you go. That's your first correct answer. 11 seconds. You still have some catching up to do. Let's look at the next puzzle. Now, continent... Wear cape. 
Oh, yeah. Africa. Uh, uh, no, no, Cape Horn forms the tip. That is South America. Cape Horn is at the tip of South America. I knew you were taking chances, but yeah, yes. you got to have to pick it up. Well, you still had a very good day, and who knows, win again, you'll have a chance to do it again for even more money. It's nice to stand next to somebody tall. It's very good for under the chin, you notice? I rarely get a chance to look up like that, and we'll be right back after this commercial time. Thank you. <laughs> Champion Emilio Aronovich from Mesa, Arizona, and Summer's got some tickets for you there. Oh, you have a lovely you, trip to, to New England. Congratulations, and a good day for you. Now, we're, as I mentioned earlier, we're going to take a couple of days off for the holidays and spend time with our families, and we do hope you will have a very happy Thanksgiving. We thank you. We feel like you're all a part of our family. We'll see you after the holidays once again on Sale of the Century. Happy holidays. Bye-bye. Emil, -bye. Hey, thank you. Thank you, Jim. Sale of the Century stars Jim Perry. This is Don Morrow speaking. Century is a Reg Grundy production.